Hello everybody! Today I would love to give Bella Goth a gorgeous makeover and by gorgeous I mean gothic. Well, you know, they are basically goths and all of that but they're not literally, you know, goth goth as in thick black makeup and tattoo gothic. So I really want to make Bella the type of tattoo-ish gothic kind of girl. I also turned her into a young adult because I just love her being a young adult and everything because she's a beautiful sim, she's my favorite sim since the beginning of time and I just wanted to turn her into an actual goth so <laughs> let's go ahead and do that anyway I think I'm gonna start off by giving her these beautiful dramatic cat eyelashes but before we continue the makeup I do want to change her hairstyle just a teensy weensy bit oh and don't mind me I want to tweak her face a little bit as well she's gonna be like the coolest looking mom in the neighborhood like everyone who wishes they had a gothic mother is gonna be Cassandra and Alexander that's gonna have a cool gothic looking mom and i actually really like the idea of that i mean we could go short hair Ooh, with the red in it like i mean should we still it's still a thought okay it's still a thought or with this one with the purple i kind of like the lengthy hairstyle because bella is not the short hair kind of girl this hairstyle i'm definitely gonna stay far away from as possible i do not like that hairstyle i mean in the beginning you know with base game and all that hairstyle was you know the stuff off. It was the ultimate gothic hairstyle and please excuse my dog. She's barking outside the window Not because we locked her out or anything But because um, she just wants to be outside a little bit and I think she's barking because she can hear my voice And she's not sure where I am. <laughs> okay. I know this is not Bella's style at all You know blue hair, but I really like the blue hair idea for her being all gothic and stuff But I still also, you know, want to keep her hair black because that's classic Bella goth. So I'm not sure. Let's just rock with the red. Oh, the red. I'm gonna try the red for now, but if I don't like it after a while, I'm gonna change it back to black. Okay, where's the goth liner at? I'm looking for like nice gothic eyes. <laughs> if you can put it that way. Okay, the cat eyes I think was the best, although I don't think you find it there. Gothic eyeliner I think you might find in eyeshadows. One thing that our gothic girl really need is some tattoos. Ooh. So let's see what we have here. That's pretty good maybe. Ooh, the cow plant definitely. A nice one for the chest that's nice and high up. Oh, I like this one as well. That's beautiful. Those maybe. Yeah. Oh, we can have another cow plant on the other leg. Now, you know, because it's Bella Goth, I still feel like it's needed that she still wears heels of some sort. I mean, these heels are actually the best that I can find. Okay, these little booties are much better, I think. Okay, now this is kind of hot. I like that. Oh, this is kind of nice as well. Oh, okay. I think I found the best top for Bella Goth. Like this just screams Bella, but you know, the gothic side of Bella. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm gonna rock the long pants because it just looks good. You know, in other outfits, you'll still see her leg tattoos. So there's no problem in that. Oh my god, this hairstyle. God, no. Are we actually gonna stick to the red hair? Like, let's take this for a test drive. Okay, how does it look in blue? Um, pretty funky. Black. Yeah, you know, I think the black is still the best. Like, these could maybe be, I don't know, face tattoos? Although it's face paint. We could really go for the punky goth look, but I don't really feel that. We can be a dark butterfly. I kind of like the stars. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to the stars. It looks pretty good as a, you know, make-believe face tattoo. But you know what? I kind of think that the red hair actually did look pretty fine. So let's stick to the red hair, you know? She can maybe straighten her hair and throw it to the back for her formal wear. But I like this because we're actually gonna be able to see some earrings. I think this is actually pretty nice for her formal wear. Okay, for the athletic wear, you know, I don't think I'm gonna do too much makeup. We can have this super cool crop top, some lovely joggers. And more than that, I'm not really gonna add here because, I mean, it's, it's the workout outfit so you can give her these ripped leggings love that for her i think this is nice and cozy for her sleepwear yeah yeah i think so i kept the makeup to a minimum yeah i mean you should generally wash off your makeup before you 
go to bed. I mean, one night I actually went to bed with most of my mascara on and um, it was actually bad because I actually struggled to wash it off because it's waterproof and I was struggling so much to actually wash my mascara off and I didn't have makeup remover at the time and when I woke up the next morning I had pieces of rolled mascara in my eye and it actually hurt my eye like it felt like there was a hair stuck so yeah it is very important to actually wash out or wash off your makeup before you go to bed and preferably with makeup remover because some warm water doesn't always help even with a cloth obviously without soap because you're gonna burn the shit out of your eyes i wish we had this crop top on its own you know without the jacket without the pants being part of it oh this is pretty cool maybe in plain black or we could go for this one pretty stylish that one uh this note's a little bit too cooped up if that makes any sense oh my gosh this top is actually a literally a one piece i didn't know this top was a full outfit and for those who are wondering this top is from the urban homage kit i think that's how you say homage 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 <laughs> No, I think it's homage. Yeah. We could give her a black butterfly top. I think this is actually kind of cute and it kind of suits her, to be honest. Let's see if we can make this work. I don't know. Uh, some nice booties. Okay, this actually looks good. Okay, maybe not with the pants. Okay, no, I cannot find the pants that pairs up nicely with this almost a strawberry top. <laughs> this butterfly top. So let's just go for something that we know looks good on Bella in general, like this top of over here i really like this top okay not in yellow god no let's go with the old plain black one i really want to use the gothic boots but the thing is with bella it does not work Ooh, i kind of like the big hoop earrings but i'm not really sure we can give her little silver hoop earrings uh -huh. and a very very sultry swimwear set i feel okay this is not very very sultry but it is pretty nice it suits her so yeah we're gonna go with that oh my god what monstrosity is going on over here i think this is pretty nice for her summer wear and then lastly for her winter wear i think i'm gonna give her a nice beanie maybe no actually no i don't think bella is really you know the beanie type either like not really at least i think well she did have a beanie on that i took off now but that wasn't really a beanie that was more of a beret i wish we had some better face tattoos okay we don't have one face tattoo i wish we could get some face tattoos you know that would be very very nice that's why i'm using the stars from realm of magic because it actually looks like a face tattoo and yeah i mean the stars does make her look a little bit like a spellcaster but i that's really not what i'm trying to achieve i just want to achieve the face tattoo idea <laughs> okay gosh woman you have no legs whatsoever i'm just gonna give her a little bit of you know meat but okay here is her everyday wear i think she looks absolutely freaking fabulous i think this top really suits bella in general and the red hair it's kind of new oh uh, not kind of it is definitely new <laughs> but anyway here is her formal wear very sleek gorgeous outfit this is her athletic wear nothing much going on over there sleepwear her party wear is probably one of my favorites well the party wear and the formal wear this is her swimwear and here is her hot weather wear pretty cool and her winter wear but okay you guys i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching if you would like me to give another townie a makeover and maybe what style let me know but yeah once again thank you so much for watching i hope to see you all in the next one